truckers for Trump. <laughs> As you might have heard, um, on Friday, a judge ordered Trump to pay $355 million for misrepresenting his wealth in applications for loans, applications for insurance, uh, just generally uh, business activities. $355 million. This is even the kind of cash that it is unlikely Trump can come up with, particularly given that he's probably not as wealthy as he claims he is. Um, this all a consequence of the fact that uh, he is accused and found guilty of committing fraud, uh, which involved basically lying about the value of properties to get uh, when it came time to get mortgages uh, and, and, uh, and a variety of different loans. The tricky part about this ruling is that nobody lost any money around this. So uh, I, I, the reality is it's very, very probable that Trump and his business associates in various levels lied about the value of properties. Uh, and maybe even lied I I extravagantly and uh, uh, about the value of uh, these properties when uh, they went to get loans and when they went to buy insurance and, uh, and things like that. That is probably all true, and that is indeed uh, a, a finding a fact that as Trump appeals this case, he can't appeal the founding of fact. What Trump will appeal is the $355 million, that size of a penalty. And indeed, uh, that penalty seems uh, ridiculously high, even to me, not a Trump fan. But I worry, I worry about the clear anti-business, uh, you know, signal that this is sending. I, I mean, it wasn't just the fine, uh, 355 million, there's, there's a, 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 a interest on top of that, it's probably closer to 450. And then on top of that, there's also uh, a bunch of uh, uh, restrictions about who can run the companies and so on. But $355 million clearly is punitive. And it's punitive partially because uh, Trump denied it all, and uh, even after he was found guilty, uh, showed no remorse, uh, and then continued to, to pretend that nothing had happened, that everybody was the same, and then it treated the judge pretty, pretty harshly. It, you know, harassed him and, and uh, made fun of him and so on. And I think the, the judge is taking it out on Trump. Uh, I think the $355 million is probably a, a dramatic exaggeration. I don't know what, uh, I, I, you know, cases like this go for. That is what kind of penalties are excluded. But this seems to me, uh, based on everything I know about uh, corporate law and, and these kind of cases, exaggerated and seems to be uh, a kind of vindictive on the part of the judge. Again, no question, I think, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I think from, from the evidence and uh, the judge certainty that Trump did commit fraud, but uh, in other words, lied. Fraud is, is lying in a business transaction, and there was fraud. So, uh, so then the question is, Given that they know nobody lost any money, how do you determine penalties? The penalty should be, uh, given that nobody lost money, the penalty should have been significantly lower than this. It's still right, I think, to penalize for fraud, to prosecute for fraud, even though nobody's lost money, in or partially to deter such behavior in the person being accused and to deter such behavior uh, in, um, in uh, other businesses. So verdict is right, penalty probably way too large. I wouldn't be surprised if on appeal they uh, reduce the penalty or they send it back to the court to reconsider the penalty. Uh, and uh, this could go to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has in the past taken cases about kind of exorbitant uh, penalties that judges and juries have inflicted. They don't always take cases like that. Uh, it, so it, it depends on how how ridiculous they think this is. But um, w with regard to the fraud, again, I, I'm, I'm in no position to question the judge 
who has reviewed all the evidence. You have not. So a bunch of you can think, oh, yeah, no, he didn't commit fraud. How do I know? Because uh, on uh, MAGA News, it says he didn't commit fraud, so he must not have committed fraud. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, I still on finding of facts mostly, uh, you know, think the justice system does a good job. Uh, and uh, if it doesn't do a good job, uh, or if you doubt this, at the very uh, most you can say is, I don't know, but you certainly can't say he didn't commit fraud because the reality is you don't know. You don't know. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so uh, with regard to this, there are uh, truckers who are saying now, these are pro-Trump truckers, who are saying that they're not driving to New York City, they're boycotting New York City. And because they are boycotting New York City, they are, uh, they are not going to drive in and because they view New York City as um, evil, bad, because, because of this uh, $350 million penalty uh, to Trump. Um, so this is just, again, truckers just like Scott who don't know what they're talking about, who don't know the law. I mean, you can, you can disagree with the $350 million without uh, and, and still acknowledge that at best you don't know, and probably he did uh, actually commit fraud. Fraud, by the way, does not require that somebody lose money. Fraud uh, doesn't require that you don't pay your loans. Fraud requires, or proof of fraud requires and only requires that you lie. And clearly there was a lot of lying uh, going on. <laughs> so, uh, yep, truckers are out there protesting. Uh, hard to tell how big this is. It's hard to tell how significant it is. Um, and it's, it's, you know, a bunch of uh, Trump banded caps yelling about uh, F leftists and uh, how much they love Trump. Whether this is a large movement, whether this will actually result in any kind of uh, slowdown in New York. Of course, this isn't, this isn't the only uh, protest. Others are saying they're never going to go visit New York. Other people are saying they're not going to do business with New York. So, they might, so they're going to be a bunch of different ways in which people express their frustration and express uh, their, um, uh, you know, the, the, the fact that, <laughs> that um, uh, you know, they think this is a huge injustice and therefore uh, Trump should be prosecuted, should, no, should, be, should not be prosecuted and should have been found not guilty because they're all experts in the law and they understand the law thoroughly. All right, uh, let's see. Um, you, you truckers, of course, have every right to do what they're doing. Uh, you have every right to boycott New York if you want to boycott New York. Go for it. I, I, I think it makes a lot more sense to boycott Texas, uh, given Texas's um, Byzantine, dark ages abortion laws. Uh, it, it, it would make a lot more sense to boycott Texas than it makes sense to boycott New York, but it doesn't make sense to boycott either one of those states uh, at this point. But certainly, uh, I, I would consider what Texas laws about abortion a thousand times worse than um, whatever Trump is facing uh, in terms of uh, this fraud case. <laughs> 